Dead jellyfish are lining the sand along low country beaches. You may have seen photos or videos circulating social media. News 2's Riley Benson joins us live from the Isle of Palms. And Riley, you got the chance to speak with beachgoers and experts to get to the bottom of that apparent stranding. Sophia, dozens of dead jellyfish have been spotted in the water along the sand on Low Country beaches this week, raising the question, why are so many washing up? Experts say it's not completely unusual for this time of the year. Blobs of jelly shoring up on the Isle of Palms, catching the eye of those walking the beach. Yesterday we saw maybe four or five. Experts say the jelly showing up are cannonball jellyfish. They're a more mild type of the species that we're used to being stung by, but beachgoers say they're still concerned. Sure, I mean, because they can still sting you. The flowy creatures by nature begin showing up in the waters off the coast of Charleston as the weather and water warms up. They really rely on uh, water currents and winds and tide to move them horizontally through the water. Aaron Weeks, a media coordinator with the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources Marine Division, says cannonball jellyfish strandings are common May through August, particularly after storms. So anytime we see periods of strong onshore winds or storms offshore um, that would cause currents pushing the jellyfish onto the beaches, we'll see strandings. Week says while the purple and clear blobs are fun to look at, she says they should be left alone. They're typically considered harmless to humans. If you do get stung by them, it'll be mild. It's more like a skin irritation. And while this type of jellyfish showing up on the Isle of Palms are mainly harmless, Week says other types packing stronger stings have been known to call the Carolina coast their home. So if you're not able to identify the jelly in the water or on the beach, um, it's best just to avoid them because actually dead jellyfish can still sting you um, after they've been beached. So the next time you're out taking a stroll along the beach, beachgoers say to keep a watchful eye open and watch where you're walking. Now, Week says the Department of Natural Resources doesn't require you to report sightings or of strandings when it comes to cannonball jellyfish. They say beachgoers should expect strandings from time to time over the next several months. For now, reporting live from Sullivan's Island, Riley Benson, Count on Two.